It's safe to say dating isn't as simple as it used to be. Sweet letters and sipping on a Coca-Cola at the local diner are a thing of the past, or are they? Well, while modern technology has made finding a partner more accessible than ever before, it's also flushed manners and etiquette down the tubes. Dating apps make interactions less personal and sometimes downright offensive. Here to help us navigate the complicated world of modern dating is national etiquette expert and founder of the Protocol School of Texas, Diane Gotsman. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. And thank you for coming back to Charleston. You live all the way out in Texas. We love having you here. I love you. Well, we love you. <laughs> oh, perfect for Valentine's we Day. We love you There more. you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get into all kinds of things during our, our segments here, but is it safe to say that Valentine's Day is a holiday for the ladies? I think that women do love Valentine's Day for the most part, but you know, believe it or not, there are some guys that like it too. You know, you notice I use the word some because yes. oftentimes I hear, oh, it's a commercialized holiday and I just don't want it. It's another reason to spend money. So I think that there's things that we can do, guys and you know, women and men, that we can make it heartfelt and thoughtful and not spend a lot of money and still make a good impression. I think that's the important thing. I think a lot of men, they think that, oh, if I celebrate Valentine's Day, I'm sending the wrong message. Yeah. Well, no. Exactly. And you know what? Sometimes they feel pressured and they are sending the wrong message because they may have just started dating someone or they have just had a date and they don't want to go too far but they feel the pressure so they do do something that maybe they didn't feel like and then their you know maybe a potential partner gets excited and it's not there so it's just you know it's a little bit of a conundrum but I think that it's important to kind of lay it all out if anything <laughs> I say just take a deep breath and use it as an excuse to just do or say something nice that's right Right. When all else fails, you do the next right thing, and that's kindness and courtesy. Exactly. Now, I dated somebody briefly. Uh, Valentine's Day rolled around, and he used the excuses like, oh, I just think it's a commercial holiday, which, yes, it is. Everybody knows that it is a commercialized holiday, as so many of them are, but I think that's just an excuse to be lazy. And we know it's coming. So whether you like the holiday or not, it's coming. And I think what happens is... They, and I'm talking about men now, you know, they, they tend to just want to skip it, some of them. Well, I think that's a little bit unkind if you don't let your, uh, the person who's waiting, I don't want to say partner because that might not be somebody that they're seeing seriously. Right. If you don't let them know what to expect. So if they're waiting around, waiting for that day to come and time is ticking, rather than saying, listen, I'm going to call you, I'm, or I will, let's get together Saturday instead of Valentine's Day. That kind of gives you an indication that you're not going to see them during the week, which Valentine's is in the middle of the week yes. this time. Right. So The worst day of all. How yes. could Valentine's Day and land on a Wednesday? So, so you know, that is a good excuse. You know, oh, I, I have an early morning the next morning. But I think that you have to just be honest. Yes. And, you know, if you don't, if you want to opt out of Valentine's Day, and some people do, and I'm not encouraging it, I'm just saying, if this happens, then you need to have a buy-in from your partner or at least have that conversation. Because I can't say, I don't want to do it, and if the other person thinks it's important, and I think that it, there's a compromise there. And that so. goes back to etiquette communicate with the person, yes. understand how they feel about it. That's right. It's not just about you, it's about the other person as well. That's what etiquette is all about. Exactly. So on that note, we have some ideas, you know, for the for a wonderful date, how to be a great date, because chivalry is not dead. No, it is So not. it is still really important um, how you, what you send, you know, if you're sending a thoughtful note. And I, I just think there are so many things that you can do and you're still not buying into the commercialism. It's true. And let's just talk about these beautiful cards that you brought with you, gorgeous Valentine's Yes, cards. and again, it just has to be, it, it could just be this. This could be the gift. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. So these particular cards, I did not make, but if you are really talented, you can make them yourself. These are handmade, and I ordered them, but each one serves a purpose for somebody different in your life. So obviously, the love card says, I love you, and it could be for a mom, or it could be for a, a love interest. Usually, a red heart is for a love interest. Yes. So here's I love you, mom. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Uh, now, 
you've got a heart of gold, the one closest to you. Okay, that's a little bit neutral. So if you've just started dating someone, that might be something nice without saying you've got my heart of gold. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a whole heart of gold. And then hugs is always sweet, and it's just a little bit generic, but a generic plus. Exactly. Now, this one, <laughs> yeah. you're what the you best. Think, we talked about this about one. This you have one. an opinion about okay. that. Okay, I don't like this one very much. You are the best. It kind of feels like a a pat, you know, just one of those pats. It, or, it is a little, yeah, it, a knuckle bump or something. It's rather intended than a, to be a, Nice. It's standoffish. Nice but it is standoffish. So yeah. you're the best would not be my favorite. However, somebody would like it. And it is a trophy, so that means that, you know, it's, <laughs> an, it's, a, it's an award or a reward. That's true. That's true. So anyway, I just think that at the very least for Valentine's Day, a card is really important. It certainly is. It just lets you know, lets the other person know that you're thinking about them. Yes. And nice thoughts are always nice to be received as well. We need to take a break, but when we come back, we're going to continue our chat with Diane Gotsman, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back. We're here with Diane Gotsman. She is the founder of the Protocol School of Texas. We've been talking about etiquette, and I want to talk about chivalry because we were starting to get into that, and chivalry is not dead. I personally have dated many lovely men who have shown very chivalrous behavior, but as we've kind of gotten into this modern age, there are certain things that have fallen by the wayside, one of which is some men love to text instead of getting on the phone and letting us hear their voice. Yes. So, and women love to text as well, True. and I am one of them. I am guilty of texting. However, I think there is a time and a place for every action. And if we're t when we're talking about Valentine's Day and a Valentine's Day date, so I think it is so important when it's a special occasion of any kind, don't just text call. It's that extra special touch that's you know certainly if you're inviting someone to a party that's a whole different bird sure. so you're going to send a car you know an invitation yes but if someone is asking another person out on a special date pick up the phone and call you know even if you generally text throughout the week anyways it's really important to hear the sound of that other person's voice and we do like to hear their voice even though you might text most of the time a, a call is always very important as and well it also means that you're carving out that time to get on the phone where you're not texting and busy doing something else <laughs> because we do multitask yeah. yes we do more and more and we do, then but. once the date arrive, you know, once the day arrives, don't text at the curb. I'm here, or I'm I'm around the corner. Come out. Actually, physically get out of the car, go to the door, pick up your date. We're not talking about, you know, this sounds like teen etiquette. It's also adult etiquette. You know, it's mm -hmm. just showing respect for that other person. What would you do if someone texted you, "I'm here. Come on down." <laughs> come on down. For me, that would be a deal breaker, and I wouldn't even leave my home. You know, I think that it says a lot about that person. It shows yeah. their energy and their effort into the relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying it's across the board. You know, if you're very relaxed, it's a casual, you're in a hurry, you're going to pick up a burger someplace on a on a Thursday night. This is Valentine's Day. We're talking about Valentine's Day. Yes. And then open the door for that person. So it's important to be polite and courteous. You hold the door for them. You give them the best seat at the restaurant. You make what a reservation at a restaurant. Don't wait until the last moment. Think now. We've got time. Make the reservation. If that's what you're going to do, yes. unless you plan to stay home and cook something wonderful at home. Which we were going to be doing a segment on that as well, how to create a romantic dinner at home but yes you want to make reservations yes. now what is the best seat at the restaurant the best seat at a restaurant is the seat looking out to the center it's not facing a restroom it's not facing a kitchen so that means that a good date is going to call ahead and say I would like this table I'd like this table by the window rather than just give me whatever you have because yes. you don't want to be watching the the wait staff come in and out or watching people go in and out of the restroom all night long and a pet peeve for me is when the man thinks that he should be sitting in the booth seat because that's usually the one that is facing out. yes but when you're sitting in a chair and you've got traffic running back and forth behind you that's not a comfortable place to yes. be right <laughs> yeah yes. okay so yes. I, yes okay 
flowers. So very I, traditional gift. And I think flowers are great. You know, some people will say, well, that's so common. Chocolates are so common. Although I have my own theories on chocolates and, and flowers as well, because I think flowers are wonderful if you send them in advance saying, I'm looking forward to tonight. Mm -hmm. Or I'm looking forward to whatever the date would be. What is it? Is it Wednesday this yes. year? I'm looking forward to Wednesday. So that says I'm thinking about this in advance. If you show up with flowers picked from their walkway, you know, that's a little bit different. And, and even chocolates, you know, people will say, oh gosh, chocolates are so generic. But I think it's really kind of traditional and romantic to have one of those big cheesy boxes <laughs> of chocolates that are just, you know, there's something about it that just reminds you of your childhood. That it reminds you of, you know, the old fashioned dating or a really nice, beautiful tin. You know, I won't, I won't market any one chocolate, but there are some beautiful boxes. So yes. what if they are diabetic? What if they have a sugar intolerance? We don't, certainly if you're dating them, you probably know this by now. Well, and part of the etiquette is understanding the other person, knowing their needs. Yes. What they like. And then catering to that. That's right. Being observant. Don't talk about exes on your date. That We don't want to hear about anybody's problems before you. Don't, you know, you want to make sure that you're interesting and ask questions. Don't monopolize the conversation with things all about you. There's just so many things that a date can do to make their their date comfortable. And that's a unisex rule. Oh, absolutely. women can go a little crazy sometimes too when they just are constantly giving out too much information. So the etiquette for the ladies, just real quick, we don't have too much time left, but most of this is kind of for the man. Yes. But how about for ladies? Because they also need to put their best foot forward. Same, same instructions apply almost. You know, you're courteous, you're kind, you're thoughtful. You know, you can send the, the, the guy a card in advance if you would like. Or, you know, we have all kinds of couples. So, you know, whoever your partner is, you can think about them as well. You might want to make them dinner. Just, just, you think outside of the box. Do something for them that you know they are going to enjoy. Perfect, Diane. Thank you so much. My pleasure. If you missed any of those tips, we will be sure to have those on our website, foxcharleston.com. We're back after this.